So we're here at uh, the sixth largest solar PV power plant in the world. It was the largest when it was completed. It's the uh, 100 megawatt Korovo solar farm in Ukraine, Crimea, U Ukraine. We're going to get a better shot from above now. All right, so we're at uh, Perovo uh, solar power plant in Ukraine. Um, we'll get uh, this, this young man's name real quick and your position with Active Solar. Uh, my name is uh, Alexander Simonenko and I'm a project manager in Active Solar company. Great, and uh, when was this project completed? We have completed this project in uh, 2011 and uh, it takes uh, for us nine months to complete this project fully. Excellent. Uh, and as I said earlier, um, this was the largest solar PV power plant in the world when it was completed. Yeah, to the end of the construction it was the largest in the world, but uh, for today it's just uh, top five or top six in the world. Mm -hmm. So it's, the capacity is very big. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many visitors a year do you, do you have here? Actually, during last uh, year we had uh, plenty of visitors uh, as uh, famous people in Ukraine and also we have uh, many students, many uh, young uh, inventors, inven inventors. Inventors? Inventors, or? Uh -huh, yeah. uh, who invent something interesting and it was like a bonus to visit this uh, station. And you said something interesting about where I'm standing right now. Yeah, now you're standing uh, on the inverter station and uh, on the, the station uh, the president of Ukraine, Mr. Yanukovych, was standing during the opening of uh, this plant in uh, 2011. So now I have a connection with the president yeah. of Ukraine, so <laughs> that's pr pretty cool. All right. So uh, could you provide a few details about this uh, solar power plant, such as number of panels and... Um, What's going on here? Uh, on this power station we have more than uh, 400,000 uh, panels. Also we have more than uh, 100 inverter stations. Mm -hmm. Each inverter station has capacity of uh, half a megawatt and inside of each inverter we have uh, two inverters that has uh, capacity of 250 kilowatts and one transformer that transform uh, voltage uh, up to 10 kilowatt. Also, we have plenty of uh, GCBs uh, that uh, transfer electricity from solar modules to inverter station. Excellent. Let's go have a look at some of those, yeah? Yeah. So we're standing here at a... Uh, well, I'll let him explain what this is. <laughs> Actually, now we are staying near the lightning protection system. You can see this tower and it prevents uh, lightning uh, damaging of the station. And this is uh, typical for solar PV power plants? Uh, this is typical for, for solar plants, but it has some technical specific for this mm -hmm. region. And uh, we can see, if we look at this closely, that there have been exactly zero Yeah, but it was Yeah, but it was reset. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so. Actually, after hard raining, you can see here 10, 20, 30 quantity of light. And really? That, yeah. That, uh, wow. Uh, so so yeah. this is a very good, very useful. <laughs> very useful and very good solution to prevent uh, damaging of the station. It's better than having to come, you know, clean up a burnt <laughs> solar panel, right, yeah. or something. Yeah. You're right. So we'll do a quick panorama here. Uh, this is just one, one portion of the, of the solar PV power plant for Rovo. Uh but still, it's quite amazing. You can just see for as far as you can, as far as your eyes work. Uh, solar power solar solar panels behind me very awesome so i just found out you know we just found out about the lightning protection system i also just found out that these uh, solar panels uh are uh, they can withstand pretty serious hail hail storms uh well two years ago we have hail storms and the hail was like the stone but the modules was uh, very strong and the hail don't uh, catch them. Awesome. Yeah. So looking at some of these solar panels, uh, so you said that active solar produces polysilicon, so the polysilicon in these panels is from an active solar plant? Uh, or I can't uh, tell that polysilicon each uh, of uh, 
of each of these panels are from uh, Zaporizhia. But okay. uh, as I know, we uh, sell our polysilicon to different uh, okay. production in the world. And who produced the actual solar solar cells and solar panels here? Uh, the pro productors of uh, the solar panels. This is a top ten company of the world. Uh, which company? Different company from uh, Asia, Asia, and uh, from Europe. Okay. Do you know the names? I'm just curious because we write <laughs> about all the. I will tell you. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Thanks. This is a great view here. Okay. So, could you provide us with a few more details about the plant? Like you said, uh, how many, how many different solar panel producers, uh, solar module producers provided? Actually, here we have more than uh, six producers models because. Uh, to the time of construction, nobody can uh, sell us a uh, quantity that we need. So we have to use, we had to use uh, a few different uh, supplier of modules. Great. And also one interesting fact that uh, the capacity that produces the station can, uh, this is uh, enough to It could produce enough electricity. For enough supplies electricity to supply Simferopol, yeah. Uh huh. Wow. wow. And uh, <laughs> how does that compare to electricity from, for example, a coal power plant or from what? Uh, a coal power Tets. plant or something? How Tets much? Tets on the ground. How is it compared to Tets on the ground with the capacity of Tets, our Tets, that are working on the ground? How many carbon emissions are you offsetting uh, and that kind of we thing? We prevent. Uh, Carbon emissions. 44,000 tons, I think, annually. In each year. Excellent. So, uh, Active Solar is a uh, Ukrainian company, yes? No, it's no? Vienna-based. Aha, Vienna-based. Uh, but you have mostly projects in Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. as of now, our uh, pipeline is mostly presented in Ukraine. And how but many... Uh, how many plants? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we have now nine or eleven. Yeah, but uh, the total capacity of uh, our station is uh, near 500 megawatts, as I know. Okay, of all the power plants together. Yeah. 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 And so we have uh, some station in Odessa region mm -hmm. and in Crimea region. And uh, as Vladimir mentioned, uh, now we have, I think, probably ten. Or 11, 11 power station. Yeah. 11. In Crimea, we have uh, Rodnikova, Pirova, Mityaeva, Akhodnikova, four. Mm -hmm. And in Odessa region, we also have uh, five. five or six. Yeah. And Nikolaev region, too. In Nikolaev and region, do you, also. And do you know how many, um, how many employees uh, the company has? Uh, as Vladimir told, uh, Active Solar is. Uh, private uh, Austrian company mm -hmm. that has uh, a group of investors from uh, over the world. Mm -hmm. The total number of uh, employers in our company, I think, uh, more than uh, 1,000, 1,000, oh. uh, 1,000, 1,500 people. Very good. Because we also have uh, the production of uh, polysilicon. In the polysilicon. polysilicon. Right. Oh yeah, so you produce polysilicon. Yep, and that's, uh, I, as I understand it, that helps Active Solar to meet uh, local uh, local production requirements for the feed-in tariff, for the green tariff? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. because uh, in our country we have specific uh, quotation in uh, feed-in tariff. It's 35% or uh, of local sourcing? To the time sourcing? of construction Pirovo we have just uh, 10 or 15% of local. Uh, okay. Yeah. And but now it's, now it's 30, right, 35, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so, so it's, every year. Okay, interesting. Um, <coughs> and how long have you how long have you guys been working with the company? <coughs> As for me, I'm working with this company for two years, mm -hmm. more than two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about a year now. Cool. So we're walking into an inverter station, the one that we were just standing on top of, and he's going to tell us what's happening inside of this station. Yeah, now we are inside of uh, inverter station. Here you can see two blocks of inverter, each of which has capacity of 250 kilowatt. And uh, back on this wall, we have a transformer that uh, increase voltage up to 10 kilowatt. Mm -hmm. And here you can see yeah. 
here you can see the total production of electricity and also you can see production of electricity of this day. Very cool. So in case you couldn't hear that well, there's a lot of noise in here. We can see total electricity production from this station and also electricity production today uh, here. Hopefully this is going to be visible well. And very cool to see that uh, the, gra the, the graph there as the sun came up and the, we're hitting a very sunny time of day. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. So you can see here, this is uh, early morning and this point we are now. Mm -hmm. And it's going up and up and up. Mm -hmm. But uh, on the evening it's going to die. <laughs> <laughs>